Hello and welcome. So today in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to georeference a, a shape file uh, using a georeferenced uh, raster images in ArcMap. The first thing you need to do is just to open the ArcMap software and uh, give it some time to just open and uh, then you're going to add uh, our georeferenced image so i have it in my desktop and it's right here so and as you can see it's in utm uh, you can you can check by just opening just right click on the raster and the attribute table right click and then open properties then go to source tab you'll be able to see the information about the the image or the information about the coordinate system of the uh, image so as you can see it's in uh, the coordinate system is ac1960 utm has on the seven south so uh, you need to to know and note it down somewhere so that you can use, use it to uh, actually define your projection after you have uh, your reference uh, shape file. So the second thing you need to do is to just add uh, the shape file that you need that I need to georeference. So and uh, my shape file, see just here. I'm just going to add it, and as you can see, it has a non-spatial reference, and I'm just going to click OK to add. So the shape file is not going to show up uh, simply because it does not have any special reference information while our image is georeferenced and has all the coordinate system information. So first of all, let me just change the uh, I'm going to change the shape file or the forest shape file. I'm going to remove the uh, fill color. I'm going to set it to no color. And then uh, the outline, I'm going to increase the width and change the color to something like violet or something like that. And OK. So let us have a look at our shape file. I'm just going to right click on that layer, forest layer, the uh, zoom to layer. You can see it's right here. So, what we need to do in order to overlay them or, or put uh, this tip together, going to you need to have go to georeference. If you don't have this georeference tab, just right click anywhere or just uh, open the customize. A tool a customize tab and then I'll go to toolbars and, uh, and then click on your reference or I can just simply right click the top here then all these uh, tool tabs will appear and then you can just select your reference so uh, make sure that uh, your shape file is selected the forest then click uh, this drop down arrow in the under your reference and choose fit to display and we'll have uh, all the layers overlaid uh, on top of each other so uh, from this point now you can identify uh, the points or the common points that you can use to uh, your reference your shape file and the tool that we're going to use today is called a special adjustment tool and I have it uh, right at the top of the menu bar. And again, if you don't have this particular tool, what you need to do, uh, you just go to customize, then go to toolbars, then just choose special adjustment. And uh, 
again you can just right click then just choose special adjustment if your screen or your laptop is too small uh, some of these uh, tools not be, not be not be visible so you need to place your cursor right at the bottom of this particular window right? so let's say like this point and then it will automatically scroll down and you'll be able to see the tool that you're look, looking for so uh then let's go back to our main agenda today so now we're going to georeference this particular shape file and we're going to use this georeferenced uh, raster image or topo this is a georeferenced uh, topographic map and uh, for those who have been following my tutorials i know you are familiar with this uh, data and uh, if you don't know how to georeference this but this kind of uh, image you can go back to my other tutorials and you can see how to do that and i've also provided you this particular uh, topographic map that particular video so you can just go and download it then uh, and go ahead and uh, practice so as i said earlier they are going to use special adjustment tool right so uh, what you need to do first of all you need to set some parameters just when we're dealing with the shape file first thing you need to do is to activate the or, or just need to set uh, the editing tool you to turn on the editor so just need to go to editor click the drop down arrow and choose start editing then just click continue so now uh, you can see that several of these uh, tools are activated so we need to set a few things then before you proceed first of all i'm going to set adjust data and uh, here you need to select all features in this layer the, the layer that you're dealing with this forest you can see it's selected and uh, make sure that it's checked right here click ok and uh, the adjustment method normally use similarity so having set those parameters now it's time to move our or to georeference our shape file using the special adjustment tool so uh, you need to set the you need to use this new displacement link uh, under uh, special adjustment just find this new displacement link then click on it and uh, you need to identify some common points both on the raster image and on the shape file for example i have this uh, point here and uh, if i look at my topo map uh, it is this point right here so i'm just going to select that to place my cursor at that particular point and you need to uh, turn on the uh, snapping tool and again you can check my other tutorials on how to digitize or introduction to arc map I've talked, I've touched on snapping tools, right? So, uh, this point, I believe it is this one right here. So, I'm just going to click on the that particular point of this shape file. Just click on it and uh, going to point the uh, link to this particular corner. That. And we need at least three for higher crest purposes you can select more but uh, the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to select three or four and uh, again this point i believe it's this one here so i'm just going to choose that particular point like so 
uh, you to zoom in and it's good to make sure that you have zoom you are zoomed in sufficiently uh, again for high accuracy uh, click like that you can also identify another point at this particular point here by I'm actually going to add four points if I'm not wrong uh, this this particular point is this one here so just going to zoom in and select that particular point zoom in again and I believe it's right there and the last point is this one here and I believe it is at the edge this uh, rust right so I'm just going to choose that particular point so having a uh, having a uh, created your link point, uh, your links the next step you need to do is to just uh, go back to special adjustment click on it and you'll be able to see this uh, adjust tool it's now activated uh, and you need to click on it in order to perform the adjustment so i'm just going to click like that and uh, you can see our our the file is now georeferenced and uh, it's actually been uh, correctly overlaid this particular cluster and, uh, so the next thing you need to do is to define your projection uh, so you just need to stop editing go to editor save edits and uh, stop editing so if i open this uh, shape file the next time i want to open it in, a, in a, another session or in a new uh, in a new document it will actually tell tell me that uh, the it does not have reference uh, special or special reference so what i need to do is to define the uh, projection this particular shape file and uh, since it's the same shape file or it is uh, the same with the raster what you need to do is to go to a toolbox then uh, choose uh, data management tool go to uh, projections and transformations and choose define projections then choose the shape file and uh, Connect system CTM. Click OK. Click OK. Now, as you can see, a projection for this particular. Uh, this particular shape file has been defined so you say if you right click uh, the re, the or a shape file and go to properties so this time around we, because you can see uh, the coordinate system is up 1960 gm zone that seven south so basically that's how we use uh, georeferenced raster images to actually georeference uh, raster or sh uh, shape files so that is that's it for this tutorial kindly remember to subscribe uh,
give this video a like and uh, see you in the next tutorial.